soon as I get me a fire going, I'm gonna go get to work. Got a lot to do, a lot of business cards to hand out. Here we go. Yeah, someone's probably gonna watch this video and be like, see, I told you, we evolved from monkeys. Look, he's using his foot. All right, here we are in beautiful Detroit, Oregon. And you look off in the distance there. That whole hillside's pretty much gone, burnt up. Uh, the dead trees up in the air. But yeah, right here in downtown Detroit, 224th Avenue. We have this project going on for a friend of ours. A good man. Thomas Parsons Construction. He's doing some houses in the area. I don't think he's doing those ones, but there's some houses or duplexes popping up. There used to be a lot more houses around here. More people. More forest right there. That was all forest across the way there. So it's kind of cool to help out. Hoping to get some more projects here. Just enough to keep the bills paid. Enjoy life. But what we're doing right now is we just showed up. We were here about a month ago or six weeks ago. Kind of laid out the building and they found out that the building was setting on an existing um, you know, sewer system. So they had to redesign and they had to put a new so they had to redesign and they had to put a new system. And move it around. It's back there kind of where that blue flag is approximately. Can't go back there. But, but what I always do, if I'm doing the clearing and grubbing or whatever, I haven't been here in, in six weeks, I, I especially always bring a mower or a weed eater. So I was able to locate the utilities coming in, get your water, and I think the sewer's over there somewhere. And then there's a, uh, yeah, they'll take the sewer. There's a, a line that goes all the way out, but it might be over there near the septic, that other blue flag. In fact, I know that's where it is. And over there is the power going to the new pole. And the existing uh, temporary power pole right there with the permit on it. Thomas Parsons construction sign below it. And JR and Son Construction Company. PNW General Contractors by Troy Jackson Entertainment. What we did was uh, went around the string line that I set up last time I was here with a weed eater so I can paint out where the uh, footing edge is going to be and the over X for the footing drain and working room. And we're going to leave this site nice and flat, safe, shrub certified type stuff, BMPs going on. It's going to look good and clean and neat is what I'm shooting for. So right now I'm going to walk around. With no cameras. I want to ask you guys if you would, uh, yeah, welcome to Detroit, Oregon. If you guys would like and subscribe, this is what I'm going to be doing forever until I can't get up out of bed anymore, which hopefully isn't anytime soon. I got a lot more people I want to meet, a lot more lives I want to touch, and in a positive way, of course, not in a weird way like you're thinking, some of you. Give me a break, would you? Anyways, this might be one of the last times you see me with this thing. I don't know. Or should I at least get through uh, Christmas season? Do a Santa Claus video. It's like Santa Claus. <laughs> Wouldn't that be funny? Who would have ever thought that you'd be playing Santa Claus someday? All right, so what we got right here is on the table, a little product came from Amazon. Before I started filming what came from Amazon tonight, you're probably wondering what the heck's going on. Why is he filming? Why not? Why not? Got a laser blower, some little shovels, meat eater, rake for shoveling, raking stuff, sweeping, a little wheel meter for measuring, some uh, snow fence, some screen fence, slash silt fence that, you know, we can make something out of it if we need to. It's all about saving money. Here's what you got. So, again, welcome to, uh, we're going to call this Schrader House in Detroit, Oregon. 
or first excavation job for JR's son's construction company. I think that's what we'll name it in honor of my father. JR or Jim or James. James Arthur. I don't have to say his last name. If you know who he is, that's good. If not, I don't want to say anything his way because he's gone now. And I want to send business to my brother's company. Jade Logistics. Jade Logistics. That's for Jocelyn and Wade. Wade uh, won the beach body contest. Uh, I think he lost 200 pounds or something like that. Something crazy. He won 100,000 something dollars for losing weight. And you always wonder why he wasn't coming to the Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter and uh, everyone's birthdays dinners all year. Well, because he was trying to not gain so much weight. Upwards of 300 something pounds. Now he's like Arnold Schwarzenegger again. Uh, like he was when he got out of high school. It's pretty amazing. On that note, you can do anything you set your mind to. And talk about, he had good motivation though. Uh, talk about some good kids. He's got two kids. You know, Mackenzie and Roman and Roman. Gosh, <laughs> they're like 15 and 12 now or 15. They're, like I said, you guys and I have mentioned many, many times, every day is a gift. Don't waste it. Do your best every day. Um, and don't forget who your family is and who your friends are. I won't even mention this quote, but keep your friends close, but your enemies closer. Nah, keep your enemies as far as away as you can. Keep your friends there to protect you and you to protect them and be there for each other and your family. That's my motto. Anyways, let's get started on this uh, excavation project and house. I won't be building a house, but I might have something to do with it. We'll see. There's a couple other houses he wants to dig out right after this. And like, subscribe. All that good stuff. Share to your, some of your friends that maybe need some good positive talk or something. Or see something funny. Uh, to my channel, Troy Jackson Entertainment Inc. And uh, here we go. Ready? Enjoy. Go get some popcorn. That's what we got is foundation corner there. Way over there. Comes around. Jogs in. Jogs over. And back all the way along here. Got a garage. It's going to be right here. We're gonna do a construction entrance with some big rocks to keep mud from getting in the street. And pretty much flatten out everything else so it doesn't puddle up or cause a muddy mess. Basically kind of have it level around the building where it should be. See this hump right here? I'm gonna take that down. And kind of get this upper grade all one elevation. I might even put a skiff of rock everywhere just for safety and cleanliness. It's all about clean and safe. Uh, you don't want anybody getting hurt, slipping on something while they're carrying some heavy board and it knocks them in the head. They fall on a nail, metal stake, whatever. It doesn't feel good to fall unless you're skateboarding. All right, which I used to do. I may even have some footage of it back in the day. In fact, I know I do, I just gotta find it. So, sit back and enjoy. Please comment whether you got something good to say or bad. Yeah, I'm point. filming. Is it okay to film you, ma'am? Or Give me five dude? Oh, he's got a border collie. Let's go, Joe. Let's go see this guy. He's got a border collie. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Best would love to meet him. him. I'm sure. He either needs a tape, or I just measure up 30 inches and we secure it. Crap, where is he? Uh, there he is, hiding behind the pole. Okay, so once you get the building laid out uh, and uh, yeah, your elevation established, I told you on the phone earlier, paint it out on the ground, and you can start digging. He's going to even 30. Foot. Foot. Larger job or a smaller job, it doesn't matter. Make sure you plan out you know, give us an extra inch. where you're going and how you're going to get out of the Thank area once you're dug into a hole. Hey, I made some cards for my, the YouTube thing I got going on. Up is down, down is up. I'm going to open the laser pin. I'm going to cut and fill rod stick. I'm going to bump it. Okay, we're going to have a lunch break. Okay, so this is our day, ready? 
I'm gonna go off that. You wanna see anything? One of these days, I'll do some live action ones. See you soon. Happy lunch. Okay. He said we could skip a little bit down here. You know, it's just under the house. We just want the edges to be perfect. So I'd say we uh. All right, and then this way, same thing. This area's a hot spot. Going to lunch. Okay. Yeah, Yellow. Paint, hey, please. Here's what we need to do. Go around, and I'll help you out with it. You just gonna. I can just never get enough apples. A few um, minutes later. Get ready to run the road. Bring me the uh, rake. I'm not the paint. You get the rake. That's what we're going to need next. Thank you. Then we got to dig. You put it still out here. Otherwise, you're going to put it on the rock out. That's where I'm going to cave. It's only grumpy. Oh, he smiles right now. That means he's not grumpy. Yeah. All right. He's happy. Good. 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 If we only have happy game, that much to come up, that's just, you know, one layer of rock. But if we, anyways, it is what it is. We got another day tomorrow, and then we get the big bump on Thursday. And I probably bring one too. It looks fine. It's not like dark and shiny and. Good enough for them to get your eyes uh, more footing than they don't have to run. I think. Keep going back and work. Keep working. Yeah, all the county guys want to get this right out. Right. And then, we're going to get this right out. We're going to get this right out. We're going to get this right out. After you like to try to go on out there, find your closest to family member, give them a hug and tell them that you're fortunate to have them. You're fortunate to have them. Your life. You know, without family, what do you got? Uh, if you don't have any friends, what do you got? Uh, your dog. Hey, that's the girl. That's the girl.
Okay, her first time on a roller, she just hops right on and takes off. I'm like, turn it up. She put it on the vibratory action. She's like, oh, no way. Now she's having a good time. But I told her to turn up the throttle. She doesn't do it, though. I hope she didn't burn up the vibratory thing. Looks like we got a little bit of a soft spot here. There's plenty of moisture in it, I think, right now. But do you have any water? Oh, and that? There's, there should be water in there, right? Hey, girl, did you make a new friend? Good girl. You are such a good girl, Bess. Say goodbye. Like and subscribe. <laughs>